for our Chinese dragon scale design, we're going to be using the balance of symmetry or radial symmetry. And I will review what those mean in a second. And we're going to be using lines to create texture as well in our designs. The first option for your design is symmetry. Symmetry means that both halves of the picture are the same, but flip like a mirror. So third graders, we practice this at the beginning of the year. If you decide to do the symmetry design, the first thing you'll want to do is to very lightly draw a line in the center of your paper. You can actually measure halfway on your paper if you want to be exact with a ruler, or you can just guess. Just make sure it's about halfway. You can do top and bottom symmetry as well. I'm just gonna do right and left. So once you have that line of symmetry, you're going to start adding some designs. So if I have one line going this way, I have to do the same but flipped on the other side going this way. And you do not have to do the same design as mine. You can do your own thing. If I do a wavy line on this side, I will have to do a wavy line on the other to make it symmetry. So you're going to repeat adding designs with symmetry. I'm just using simple line designs right now because we're going to be adding some texture in this next. But if you want to go a little bit more complicated and challenge yourself, that is absolutely okay. So for example, you could do some shapes. Shape on one side, you can do the same shape on the other. And once you have some design, we're going to add some texture. Texture is how something feels with your fingers or how it looks like it would feel. This is a dragon scale design, so we're going to be adding some dragon scale texture. To make dragon scale textures, you're going to start with some bumps, and then you're going to add another row of bumps, hitting the center of the bumps on the top row. You can start to see that this is going to start to look scaly. So once you get to the bottom, you're going to repeat on the other side, but going in opposite directions because we're trying to make it symmetrical. And if the numbers don't match up perfectly and it's not perfect symmetry, that's okay. Just want you to try your best to keep your symmetry. I'm using red color paper because that is the traditional Chinese New Year color. But if you have different color paper that you want to use, that is absolutely okay. Green might mean harvest. Gold and silver might, might mean prosperity. Different colors symbolize different things in Chinese New Year. So it might be interesting to look up what color you want to use for designs for what kind of New Year you would like. So adding these textures symmetrically and remember that the kind of texture that looks like it has bumpy or scaly textures but it actually is smooth if I touch this that kind of texture is called visual texture I would like you to use some of the dragon scale designs but if you want to use some other kind of designs for the rest of your project that is absolutely okay too so maybe I'll add some more shapes but just make sure if you add something to one side, you have to add it to the other side to make it symmetrical. Okay, so I have my designs using some scales and also some other designs. The last thing we're going to do is add gold or silver. Gold and silver are thought to be very good luck for Chinese New Year celebration. It's supposed to bring you prosperity for the new year. So I'm using gold paint. If you have something like that, you're welcome to use that. If not, and you have some gold crayons or other drawing tools, you can use that as well. If you don't have any gold art materials, you could use things around the house. If you have gold stickers, you can put them on. If you have tin foil, you can cut them up and glue it on or wrapping paper, anything that's shiny will bring you good luck. And you can decide how you would like to add your designs. Maybe I will add some more lines to some of my scale textures. 
I'm not doing it for all of them. I'm just kind of picking and choosing. It's not going to be perfect symmetry, but that is okay. Maybe I'll add some lines and dot designs. So now I have my Chinese dragon scale design using symmetry and adding gold. If you want to challenge yourself even more, you could try using radial symmetry for your designs. Fourth graders worked on radial symmetry earlier in the year, and radial symmetry means that you're going to repeat things over and over, not just twice, but many times. So if you're going to do that, you're going to first guess where the center of the paper is, or you can also measure with a ruler. And then you're going to add very lightly, because this it's just a guideline, lines to show the quarters. You could also split it into eighths if you want to go even more detailed, but at least have quarters. For radial symmetry, instead of repeating it just once like a mirror, you're going to repeat it like a pizza slice. So whatever you do on here, you're going to do on here. Whatever you do here, you're going to do here. And if it was a pizza, you have to have the same amount of pepperoni on each slices. So if I have a circle here, I have to have a circle on all four quarters. If I draw an arc, I have to have an arc on all four quarters. If I draw a line, I have to draw it on all four quarters, and so forth. So I'm just adding some designs to my radial symmetry design. And now once you have some line designs, we're also going to be adding some scale texture. Texture, remember, is how something feels, but if you touch this paper, it's not actually going to look like dragon scales, so it's going to be visual texture. So just like I showed you in the earlier part where we talked about symmetry, you're going to add those bumps to simulate the visual texture of the dragon scale. You don't have to cover the whole design with dragon scales, but you do have to use some. And once you're done with the line designs and the texture designs, then of course we're going to add the gold or silver. So same thing, you can choose how you would like to use the gold or silver. You can use things around the house, but it'll bring you good luck if you use some gold or silver. So here's my finished radial symmetry design with the added gold. Whether you do the symmetry design or the radial symmetry design, when you're finished, please make sure to send me a picture. What I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange everybody's artwork to look like a Chinese dragon body and put the Chinese dragon on there so that it looks like one big dragon that every single person made together collaboratively. So make sure to send me a good photo of your work and when you take a picture, try and make sure that the table's not in it. So try and crop off anything that's not your design so that all you see is your design because we don't want the table to be a part of our dragon. 